How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to another tutorial. Now, not long ago I made a tutorial on a custom reticle or custom mouse cursor, crosshair, whatever you want to call it. And it was a really cool tutorial for me because I really like that effect. But I've also done more research on that effect and I noticed that in the Construct 2 documentation, they kind of frown upon that effect for some reason. They say that it kind of slows down your performance by hiding the mouse cursor and whatnot. And I haven't noticed anything whatsoever and I've put it into my game project that I'm secretly working on and I've put it into other projects that have a lot of objects in it. And I haven't noticed anything yet. So if you've noticed anything in your project, please let me know because I'd be interested to see why it doesn't work, but at the same time, I haven't noticed anything, so feel free to continue to do so. I think that it's just a precaution and that uh, it might cause some performance issues. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And also, they say that their uh, limit on the mouse cursors that they provide is better for it, but I don't like the mouse cursors they provide. They don't, they don't give me enough uh, control over the mouse cursor. So I'm going to continue to do so. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make a mouse camera out of it. Now, if I hit play here, you can see that I have a player that has animations already attached to it. It can jump, it can do everything it wants, and it actually is controlled by the mouse. You can see the mouse will flip it based on its X position. So it's pretty cool, but it could be cooler. And this is kind of a very simple, no programming required, not even going to go into the event sheet on how we can actually set up a quick mouse camera. Now I've programmed cameras before, like uh, with an individual camera object. I've done camera lerps, I've done a look ahead camera, which you can check out uh, on, on this channel. You can check out and see those cameras. But this is a very simple mouse camera and I don't think that I really need to have a separate uh, camera object. Now that being said, you probably should have a separate camera object because uh, you can get a lot more control with that, but this is a very, very easy and, for me, a very basic way to just kind of throw a camera object in there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to first add the scroll to behavior to the player like we normally would, and let's hit play. And you can see that the camera is now going to follow the player, and that's cool, and we have our mouse cursor and everything's fine, but it would be, it would be really cool if our mouse cursor would scroll as well. So we're gonna do just that. We're gonna add the scroll to behavior to the reticle. And when I hit play, now you can see that it's going to bounce between both of them. And it's actually going to even delay when the player jumps and stuff. So it kind of just does it built in on its own. When I have my, when my player goes over here, the mouse will follow. When the mouse goes over here, it'll just kind of stretch until the player can't go anymore. It's a really easy effect to add. And for all intents and purposes for my prototyping, it works perfectly fine. Now, later on, I would probably program in a more intense camera lerp, but this is honestly, it works, and I'm going to use it for as many things as I can. Uh, it really is a pretty easy effect, and all you're doing is adding two behaviors. So I really do hope that... Uh, this works for you. Let me know in the comments what you think of this, if this is something cool that you didn't think of. And really, if you have any issues with anything, just leave a comment below and I'll answer you as soon as I possibly can. I really do appreciate all of the really good uh, comments, the thumbs up, and sharing the video and everything that's been going on and hitting 1,000 subscribers was really cool as well. Thank you so much for everything. It's really, really awesome. If you have any ideas for future tutorials, leave a comment below and I will see if it is doable and I will add it to my list. I have a list of tutorials to go through before I start doing uh, more longer stuff on this channel. I'm probably going to do some cool series later on. Uh, probably in mid-April, mid to late April, once I get all of my coursework done. But that'll be really cool. If you want to see more frequent updates, check out my Twitter at Jerementor. Otherwise, leave a thumbs up on this video. Let me know that you like it, and I'll see you next time.